In this video, we're going to walk through setting up your podcast website on WordPress using the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. So here in our WordPress dashboard, this is kind of a sample site that we use for a lot of our testing and development. We see that we have the Divi theme already installed. We also see the podcast area here. And if we look at our plugin screen, we see we have seriously simple podcasting already installed. Okay, back to the Divi menu and the themes option, let's enable one thing. In Seriously Simple Podcasting, we create this podcast custom post type. And within the Divi theme options, we want to make sure that custom post type is enabled. So we'll go to Builder and enable the podcast post type and go ahead and hit save so that the Divi theme is in control of all the podcast episode posts that we create. Okay, great. So let's do some setup on our podcast here to begin with. So we'll go to podcast settings. And we mentioned that we're gonna publish our episodes within this podcast area, but Seriously Simple Podcasting gives you the options to publish your episodes as regular blog posts or any kind of custom post type that you choose. But we'll leave the regular podcast episode posts uh, as selected for now, but if you want, you can use things. Say you're a church and you want to have a custom post type as sermons, maybe you would enable that here. We are going to leave the media player uh, unselected, so we're not going to display the media player that Serious Assemble Podcasting creates because Divi comes with its own media player. And for this website, we'll use that built-in player that Divi creates. These two options don't really apply if you're not displaying the player anywhere on your site. We'll keep the iTunes fields enabled. These are great for kind of iTunes and podcast directory discoverability. And the rest of these, again, don't really apply because the player that comes with Serious Assemble Podcasting is not going to be used because we're going to use the Divi player for this website. We'll go ahead and save our settings here. And we'll go ahead and create our first podcast feed. Okay, so we'll call our podcast setting up my website using Divi, just because that's what the name of uh, this video is all about. Uh, and here you would select like the enter your name as the author of the podcast, select the categories that you want your podcast to appear in and podcast directories like Apple Podcast, have a short description, this is just plain text of what your show is all about, upload a cover image, and enter a little more information here about you and your show. Uh, if your podcast is explicit, make sure you mark it as explicit here. And this is for your podcast as a whole. You can also mark individual podcast episodes as explicit if you would like. Uh, we'll leave the source date as the publish date, not the record date um, that displays on the front end. And we'll leave the rest of this blank for now and come back to this later. Okay, so let's create our first podcast episode. So in the podcast area, we'll hit new, add new episode. And with Divi, as opposed to using the built-in editor here in WordPress, uh, we will go ahead and choose to use the Divi Builder to create the template and kind of the layout and design of the individual podcast episode pages. We'll create our landing page, our archive page, that shows the list of podcast episodes later. But for now, let's go ahead and configure what a single episode page or post is going to look like. First, we'll give the episode a title here. And once we've entered the title here, we'll say, we'll click the let's use the Divi Builder to launch the Divi Builder in this same window and go ahead and configure what this page is going to look like. And here we see the option to build this from scratch. So not using any kind of template. Uh, Divi comes with some pre-made layouts that I think are really great. Or you can clone the look and feel of an existing page. We'll get into this later when we create a second episode using the same template. But for now, we're going to browse some pre-made templates. And since we're creating a podcast, we'll go ahead and click and search for podcast over here. And we see the folks from Elegant Themes have given us seven different pages already done and designed for us. We just need to select the one that we want to use for the individual podcast episode page or post and apply that layout. So we see we have the about page, a contact page, two different episode pages, um, and then a, a kind of archive page and a home page here. And so if you want to hover over any of these layouts, it shows you a little bit of what this looks like. I like this one, so we'll go ahead and select this. And you can either view a live demo to open this in a new tab here, get a, a feel for what things kind of feel and look like and how it might fit into the rest of your site layout.
The only thing I'm not sure about is we're not going to use video, so I don't know that we would use this part, but we can kind of adjust that. So we'll look at this other layout. So let's look at this episode two page layout and view the demo of it to see what it's see what it kind of look and feels like and see if it's a better fit for the type of content we're creating. Cool, so it has the right sidebar here. I actually really like that. Uh, I know sidebars have kind of come in and out of vogue lately, but actually I'm liking sidebars these days. It has this little video bit here, but I think we'll be able to just modify this page template and remove this video bit since we're not using it. Uh, and then I like that it has the show notes down here and related episodes. So we're gonna go with this page template and just modify it a bit. Great, so we'll close this and say, let's use this page layout. And the way page layouts work with Divi is that you kind of figure out ahead of time, like we're doing, what you want all or any posts or pages of a particular type or area on your site to look like. And you apply that theme and then you can just duplicate an existing one and then change the content on those posts or pages to fit the new content that you're creating, but the look and feel and layout and style is all the same. Okay, great. We see here that we have the title of our episode here and the layout, but this is the rest of this is not exactly right. There are a few things we're going to modify here about how WordPress in general is set up and uh, and kind of what the general page layout is because Divi is only controlling this one small part of it here, it seems for now. Okay, so we'll we'll fix that later, but for now we can do things like Update the title of the episode for all you Star Wars fans out there. So we'll call this, uh, we're not gonna have seasons, but we'll just call this episode one. Great, uh, by me on this date, that's great. And we'll give a short snippet of what this is all about. Okay, for all you Star Wars fans. Uh, if we wanted, we can update some information, like say you have a round table type show, you can have uh, different people on who are contributing to the podcast say you only have one guest on the show you can just have Amanda as the guest maybe you would link to her Twitter account here or something and in the course of the conversation maybe you and Amanda talked about uh, you know different resources and websites and things that she that you like you can link those here I really like this this kind of resources mention section is a very very popular part of episode show notes that we include with all of the podcasts that we help create at Castos. So we want to also set up sharing here. So let's share this on Twitter and maybe Instagram and maybe Facebook. Uh, and so if you want folks to, to tweet this out, you can include kind of pre-made tweets here uh, for the social media networks that you want folks to uh, share this on. Okay, so you have links to people's social media uh, profiles here in the hosts or guests and since we only have one since Amanda is our only guest we're not going to list ourselves as a host we'll just call this guest okay great resources mentioned share an episode will include links on social media here and then if we want to download the episode we'll include the media file URL but we'll get to that later okay so I think this is good for now we have the title of the episode here Phantom Menace we called this episode one which is appropriate uh, and we have a bit, a brief description of what the episode is about here. And this is the player that I mentioned uh, previously. If we open up the settings for this audio file area, we'll see that we can do things like give the audio file a title and say which artist created it and which album, which would be like the name of your podcast. Um, and then here in the audio area, you're able to enter the media file URL for your podcast. The Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin works with either kind of self-hosted or externally hosted media files, or you can host them with our integrated Castos hosting platform. If you're hosting with Castos, I'll show you how to get those media file URLs here in just a minute. If you're self-hosting or hosting your podcast elsewhere, you'll want to grab that media file URL from your hosting platform and enter it here. For now, we're just going to close this, and this is something that we're going to come back to later. Let's go ahead and make sure the rest of our page layout here is correct. So you might have a longer description about the episode here. So if you have really kind of long show notes or maybe you have a transcription, you could enter it here. And then if you have other episodes published, they would show up here in the related episodes module. Okay, so let's save this for now. 
and exit back to the WordPress editor to upload our media file using the Castos hosting platform. Again, this is optional, but it's a really nice way to integrate your podcast hosting with your WordPress site. Okay, back here in the WordPress editor, we see we gave this episode a title. We are using the Divi Builder to build the page layout for this post. But down here in the podcast episode details area, we're going to upload our media file for this episode. And if you're connected to the Castos platform, you can see here that you're uploading this file using the Castos platform. This takes just a minute or so, depending on your internet connection. And once this is done, it'll give us a media file URL here that we'll use to paste it back into the Divi uh, editor. So we'll copy this media file URL and save this as a draft again. And we'll head back into the Divi Builder to finish setting up the content for this episode. So back here in the audio module, click the little gear icon and give a little more information about the episode. So what did we call this? We call this the Phantom Menace. The artist is me. This is kind of the fictitious name of, of a lot of podcasts we create. Uh, and then we'll enter that media file URL here and click the green button to say okay. Great, so uh, all of our kind of meta information about the episode is here. And when we look at this on the front end, we can play this to, to kind of show what that looks like. Okay, great. So I think a lot of the content we need for our first episode is done. So let's go ahead and save this. We're not quite ready to publish it yet, but let's go ahead and save this and head back to configure a few things about WordPress in general to show the full width page layout here because one of the things that we're seeing is that this is only showing on kind of part of the screen we have the built-in wordpress sidebar and things like that that we don't want so we want our beautiful divi designed layout to take up the whole page here so let's go back into the wordpress editor and set that up to remove the sidebar back in the wordpress dashboard here we'll go to our podcast episodes and we will edit the first episode that we've created. Again, this is just saved as a draft for now. And in the right uh, column over here, we'll go down to page layout and instead of right or left sidebar, we'll say no sidebar and we'll save this as a draft. And if we preview this now, let's see what this looks like. Great, so this is much more the look that we want uh, for this. So we see kind of the full Divi designed layout here. This looks great, it has all the content we're looking for. And if we click play on the player here, we should hear our podcast episode. Uh, this is just a little sound clip that we use. Great, so I think everything as far as the content for our first episode is good. Here we have all the content, the title, episode number, a brief description. We customize a bit of the sidebar over here that Divi creates, which I really like. Okay, and to hide the meta information up here that WordPress creates natively, we're going to go back into our theme options. We'll go to layout, and in the single post, because that's what we're creating as single podcast episode posts, we'll deselect each of these items here, and we'll hit save. And if we come back to the Divi editor here and hit refresh, we should see that all of this goes away. And we just have the Divi created content on the front end. And great. So on our single podcast episode page, we've created a page layout. We've customized it a little bit to show what we want and inserted all the content here. Great. Last thing here is we talked about not necessarily wanting this video module since we're not creating video for our podcast. We'll just hit the trash button. That goes away. Everything kind of snaps automatically back into place. And now I'm happy that everything about our single episode layout using Divi is set. So the next thing we want to do is create a list of episodes on a page for our podcast. This is the place, if you're part of a, a kind of a bigger site, that people would go to as like the home page for the podcast for your site. Uh, and so we're going to create that now. So in the pages area, we'll go to add new. And we'll call this something like episodes. And we'll use the Divi builder to customize this page. And as before, Divi gives us some great options here for pre-designed and pre-configured pages that give us everything that we need. So again, since we're creating a podcast, we'll search for podcast. And you really have two options here. One is if your podcast kind of stands alone and it's the only thing on your site, 
then you would use something like this layout that has a bit of information about you and your show and your guests and ways for people to subscribe to your email list or subscribe to your podcast so they get every episode as soon as it's downloaded. So you certainly could use this as a homepage layout. For us, uh, we're going to be just creating an episodes page which lists the most recent episodes for our podcast on a page. So let's take a look at this page to make sure it's uh, kind of configured and laid out like we want it. Great, so all episodes, again, a little bit of information about our podcast in general here. Uh, the most recent episode maybe is at the top as this video element that we're not using, so we'll remove this in favor of maybe a featured image. And then down below has a grid of the most recent episodes. So I think this is great. We'll use this and we'll go ahead and customize this to fit our needs. Great, so let's use this page layout. And while this is loading, I'll just mention that if you wanted to create a homepage layout for your podcast, a lot of the same decisions and approach that we're using here for our episodes page would be the same. It's just you're creating a homepage for your podcast instead of an episodes page. Okay, so let's say welcome to Podcast Hackers, and we'll give this... Okay, great. So this is just a brief description about what the show is about, uh, and this would be the title of a most recent episode here. A little bit of meta information that's cool we mentioned we're not using a video so we will just delete this module we'll come back up here in a minute but for now let's take a look at this area this is saying no results found let's see why not i'm guessing they're using yep so this is using the blog module and instead of post we are publishing podcast episodes so we'll say, please grab all the podcast episodes, the last nine. And that should make sense because we have kind of three columns here. If you remember the preview page, uh, that's cool. Uh, it's going to show an excerpt and that is all good. So we'll go ahead and say that's good. And as we can see, this is pulling in the most recent episode here. Uh, if we had a featured image on our episode, it would be populating that here. So we'll go update that later and come back and view the front end of this page to see what this looks like. So this module here is a static uh, text module. Then they have the media player down here, which if we open this up, it would have uh, just a, an audio file. Uh, and, and so I think the, the idea and the goal with this is to, to have it be exactly what it says, which is a featured episode. This isn't necessarily like the most recent episodes, but this is something like, right? So if you did an interview with Seth Godin, you would want this on the page that everybody that checks out your podcast uh, heads to, and so you would just have this as, as a bit of a static element here. This isn't going to be updated as its most recent episode, but if you have a really popular episode, or maybe you have like a trailer episode that describes what your podcast is all about, you would have that here. So instead of a featured episode, you would say intro to the podcast, maybe. That, that would be cool. And then here you could just say something like, see what po see what, you know, my show is all about. Uh, and then this could be maybe just a couple of minutes of you describing kind of what your show is about and who might want to listen and why, uh, something like that. And then down here, you would have an all episodes area. Uh, so that's maybe a way you could use this kind of highlight section here. If you don't like this, you certainly could just come up here and delete the whole thing. But I like it. I'm going to leave this for now. This is a cool way to intro my podcast to new people that are just checking it out. And again, if you have a little something here, uh, this audio file, again, you would click on the gear icon here, scroll down to the audio area, and insert that media file URL, either from Castos or if you're using an external hosting platform, grab that media file URL, paste it in here, and then click update. And then this episode will be populating, again, for our purposes here, kind of a trailer episode. Uh, and then your most recent episodes will, will show over here. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this. And we're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard to kind of round a few things out here. So the first is we only have one podcast episode. I think that's kind of silly. So here what I'm doing is creating a couple of more episodes so we can see that podcast episode page in full effect with a bunch of episodes on it. And I've come into the Divi editor and I am going to clone an existing page, or in this case, the podcast post. I'll select our existing podcast episode page so that the look and feel and the style is exactly like we want it. And I'll go ahead and update the content here, right? So we have the Empire Strikes Back as the name of the episode. We'll bring that down here as well. And this is episode two. 
So my guest is customize any of this content you want. Great. Uh, and then again, we have new media file information here. I think we can take this content out. Actually, I'll leave this out for now. And then you would have another media file URL for the newest episode you have here. We'll update that here in just a minute. In just a minute. You know, I'm looking at this and I think that since we have the title of the episode up here, we don't need it in this meta area here. So we're gonna take that out. Cool, that's good. Again, save this as a draft and for a future workflow, I think what I would do is I would upload my media file first and then have that media file URL handy to be able to post into the Divi editor. So I'll go ahead and upload my file now. Great, so now I've uploaded this file. Again, if you're not hosting with Castos, you would publish this somewhere else maybe, but just grab this media file URL wherever you're hosting your podcast audio files, come back into the Divi editor and we'll paste that into the module where the audio player is. Great, so here, click the gear icon, scroll down to audio and we'll paste our new media file uh, URL here. Great, and we'll call this done. So we can go ahead and publish this. So it's a good way to show kind of what cloning an existing post or podcast episode post in this case looks like. And then if we go back and look at our new archive page, we should see that we have two episodes here and that should be populating dynamically. So let's go check that out. So remember we said pay, we created pages and this is episodes. And if we view this on the front end, we have the title of the podcast, a bit about what the show is about, a featured or kind of popular or trailer episode that you want to leave kind of statically up here. Again, we haven't set this up as one that dynamically pulls in the latest episode, but you can do that with the short code that comes with Seriously Simple Podcasting. And then you can, and then we have a list of the episodes that we've published down here, and this will go in a grid of three columns wide as long as we're publishing episodes. So that is setting up your podcast on WordPress using the Divi theme builder, along with Seriously Simple Podcasting. If you have any questions, drop a comment in this post. Thanks so much for checking it out and enjoy your podcast.